been a while since I've done one of these. Today's Space Orc story is brought to you by the one and only the Impala Lord. Check him out on Tumblr. I remember the war with humanity. It was our first and last mistake. The last war of the Dorysal. The war that destroyed us. I was barely a hatchling at the time the war started. Barely enough to understand what the politicians were saying. Never mind understand the intricacies of intergalactic politics. <laughs> it was some dispute about colonization rights. Something trivial and unimportant. But something we foolishly thought was that destroying a human vessel was worth it. I remember the first days of the war. The propaganda on the vid screens. The pictures of our soldiers on the front lines winning victory after victory. The comparison of the primitive human weapons to our advanced technology. They showed us bedraggled human prisoners after they surrendered. Made them read statements of aggression and war guilt for the news feeds. But those vids never told us that for every one human they killed, they killed ten of us. We took the worlds we wanted, then got greedy and took some more. The humans were professionals, but we had numbers. City after city fell beneath our guns. Enslaved human populations churned out weapons for use on their own kind. But even as we broke their fleet at Clizan, sent their ships into that dying star, we realized we were losing. Every world we took, they made us pay in tenfold. They sent assassins behind our lines to kill our leaders. Small units of soldiers to sabotage our factories. We learned that we had stretched ourselves too thin against an enemy that refused to lose. We fell back with nowhere left to go. The only worlds left were ours. I watched as the humans scattered our fleets in the upper atmosphere. The burning husks of our ships filling the skies. The smell of ozone as an orbital lance annihilated a military base not 10 kilometers from where I stood. The look of shame as the Grand Council transmitted our complete and utter surrender. And I remember too, the first time I saw a human, tall and upright, a giant of muscle and bone, the eyes of a predator on the hunt. I remember him gesturing me over to him and the certainty of my death filling my mind. I was a child, but I was prepared to die for the Dreisel, a sacrifice to allow the humans to take their fully justified revenge upon us. And I remember my first taste of the chocolate bar he gave me. The human revenge was total. From the ruins, they built schools and roads, hospitals and sanitation plants. The human engineer brought running water free of parasites to my family's stack for the first time. They inoculated us against diseases the council had never bothered to cure. They wrought revenge with words we'd never heard. Democracy, freedom, brotherhood. They wrought it in the form of human rights. And most powerfully of all, forgiveness. And their revenge was total. Within 10 years, human children in Dreisel were playing together on the fields outside of school. In 15, they were fighting alongside against the Shulaman. 40 years from the day the humans landed on our worlds and the Dreisel no longer exist. Admitted to humanity, nominated by Terrans, and approved by a unanimous decision of the human parliament, the sixth species to gain such an honor. The Dreisel no longer exist, but humanity grew stronger. Yes, I remember our war with humanity. Our last and best mistake. President Stephen Azili of the Dreisel, giving a speech celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Dreisel's admittance to humanity. Possible outcome, 71. Ending transmission. Hmm. This is but one of the many outcomes the human race could have on our universe. 
Sure, they brought peace, but at what cost? Computer, keep searching for an outcome where all sides have a happy ending. Of course, Captain. If it takes the next century, I'll find one where nobody has to die as much. Maybe chasing a fool's dream, but humans taught me how to be stubborn. Might as well learn how to use it.